every day, we place our empty milk bottles on the doorstep, knowing that by tomorrow, our empties will have been replaced by full bottles of milk. We've become so used to this that most of us take it for granted. We all know, of course, that they are put there by the milkman. But how much do we really know about the milkman's job? But how much do we really know about the milkman? But how, but how, but how much, but how much do, do, do we really know about the milkman? Man, 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 man. He pulled the truck into the curb at the Mackenzie's house, took his milk case from the floor beside him and swung out onto the sidewalk. One quart milk, one econ cream, one orange juice. Thanks, Nella M. Spike the milkman looked at his hand case thoughtfully, set it down and from it produced the milk and cream. Mrs. McCarthy's note was where it always was, wedged into the letter slot. It was brief and to the point. Chocolate. Spike took out his pen, scrawled delivery made across it, and pushed it through the letter slot. A day when he could deliver a spider was a happy day for Spike. At the Weber's house, Spike left a bottle of all-purpose cream filled with an acid gel. At the Jenner's, he left five quarts of milk. At the Collins's, two quarts of milk and a carton of yogurt. At Miss Ordway's, a carton of eggnog that had been spiked with belladonna. Only three houses left now. At the Kincaid's, he found a note which read nothing today, thanks, and left a capped milk bottle which looked empty, but contained a deadly cyanide gas. At the Walker's, he left two quarts of milk and a pint of whipping cream. By the time he reached the Mertens at the end of the block, rays of sunlight were shining through the trees and dappling the faded hopscotch grid on the sidewalk which passed the Mertens' yard. Here the note was pinned in the Mertens' newspaper holder. Cancel. The day brightened. A boy banged out of a house, grinned up at the sky, and brought in the milk. <laughs> 